Members of this tribe have danced on this land for eons. Their songs and culture reverberate across time. Those reverberations are now taking physical form in Blackfoot Crossing Historical Park. This site was uh, a gathering spot for uh, the Blackfoot people for various purposes. Blackfoot Crossing is located east of Calgary, Alberta, and is operated by the Siksika Nation, which is part of the Blackfoot Confederacy. We comprise uh, um, four tribes, and uh, we're the most northern tribe, and we're the Siksika Nation. And then we also have the Bigani Nation, uh, or the Pagan. And then we also have the Blood Tribe, or the Gaina Nation. And then we have the Amskapi um, Bigani, or the Blackfeet Nation, on the Montana side. Historically, Blackfoot territory stretched from the Yellowstone River in Montana to what is now Edmonton, Alberta, and from the Rocky Mountain foothills to modern-day Regina, Saskatchewan. Blackfoot Crossing Historical Park inhabits 2,000 acres of protected land. With the Bow River at its center, this is the largest ecosystem of its kind. So what you see now is, is what you would have seen, you know, hundreds if not thousands of years ago. The actual Blackfoot Crossing is a shallow spot in the Bow River, which made it easy for First Nation people to cross. In our language, we, we call it Soyokbaokko, which uh, is translated, loosely translated into ridge underwater. So there was a natural ridge which was used for, for the crossing, which is why in today's terms it's called Blackfoot Crossing. It was used for a number of different things, um, uh, as, a, as a route for migration, as a route for uh, warfare as a route for um, trade and um, you know um, ceremonial purposes like I guess everyday daily life. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries 11 treaties were signed between Canada's First Nation peoples and the British Crown. All treaties declared that the First Nations would surrender their traditional lands in exchange for annual payments, supplies, and land reserved for First Nation occupants. Treaty 7 was signed in 1877 between the British Crown and Chief Crowfoot of the Blackfoot. He is very, uh, very poetic in a lot of his words, and, and if you look back in history at, uh, at some of the, the, you know, the speeches that were made at that time, you know, it, it reflects his, uh, his character, I guess, very charismatic, and uh, he was a leader. 1977 marked the 100th anniversary of Treaty 7. A reenactment took place at Blackfoot Crossing with Prince Charles representing the British Crown. The event prompted Blackfoot elders to develop a permanent structure, bringing ancient culture to new generations and celebrating the significance of this land. Construction began in 2004 and was completed in 2007. The result is a world-class museum which physically represents traditional Blackfoot culture. It was basically made for the elders first, eh? for them to go a place where they can connect with, uh, with the old, old ways, whatnot. And also, and later on it became, the whole purpose was to teach our kids, our gener younger generations, to learn about Blackfoot people. And also to share with the rest of the world and let them know who uh, Siksiga people are and what Blackfoot people are all about. Some of the items are like hundreds of years old and whatnot. They're, from what I understand, uh, there was a lot of um, dealings that were made with other museums throughout, the, like like the Glenbow and Smithsonian. A lot of the artifacts were uh, brought back from these museums and, and they were uh, placed here. The historical park also offers hands-on experience with Siksika Nation culture, with activities like crafting a hand drum, raising a teepee in traditional fashion, learning simple phrases of Siksika language, and tribal dances. Well, I always tell people that uh, for anybody that's coming to Blackfoot Crossing, you're gonna get the real deal. It's through our vision, our eyes, our language, our interpretation, and where all the history occurred. So in a nutshell, that's what it is. You're gonna get the real deal. And with that, you're gonna get to see a lot of uh, our interpretation of history and ceremonies and song and dance.
If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.